Jesus says, More dramatic measures are needed when people are so enraptured with the world. January 13, 2019 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, I believe the Lord is warning us, heart dwellers, that we may very well have a catastrophic tsunami in this country in a big city. Today, one of our prayer warriors told me of her dream about the tsunami which is coming. We've all known for quite some time this was going to happen, and the two locations we've been shown are San Francisco and New York City. Dear ones, the Lord has always promised us that if we would pray, He would lessen the tragedies. And here I want to present the prayer that Jesus taught Faustina. Jesus told her, If you say this prayer with a contrite heart and with faith, on behalf of some sinner, I will give that soul the grace of conversion. And this is the prayer. O blood and water that gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us sinners, I trust in you. Please remember this prayer, dear ones. We may have to pray this over thousands of souls. Jesus began, My faithful brides, how proud I am that you have pierced the heavens with your cries and entreaties. Only when you are with me will you see the fruit of labors, your obedience, your willingness, and love. It is true that chastisements will be allowed for a season, but it will be for the punishment of the wicked, and those caught in the grips of it who are not wicked such as innocent children, I promise them a swift ride into heaven and eternal delights. But for you, who are left, there will be much work for you to do. There will be revival and a turning back to me, and in this way I hope to prepare my bride so that soon we will be together. Getting the attention of my brides to be has been a serious effort with little fruit, except in countries who have experienced terrorism, displacement and tragedy. Sometimes that is what it takes to separate the soul from the world and seriously consider that I am real, alive and calling to them. Souls that respond to me without having to go through this are precious, few and far between, and my heart longs to lavish love and consolation on those who are yet to experience me. But they are naked and blind in this world, and their very reality must be shaken. There is little time left, and they are lagging behind. That is why more serious measures are needed to get their attention. However, I am never without pity or mercy, and I hate to experience their suffering and to feel what they feel. So I try with all possible measure to draw them to me by life's ups and downs. But when a people is so enraptured with the world, more dramatic and harsher methods are needed. I am asking you all to stand on the wall of intercession, looking out over the world and giving your heart to those who suffer and are victims of tragedy. I am asking you to respond to that still small voice within you that calls you to prayer. 
I'm asking you also to know that your loved ones are in the hands of a loving and just God, and nothing happens without His consent. Trust Him, trust His faithfulness, and give me great cause to trust you with the most precious thing in my world, a human soul. Trust that I know what I'm doing and allowing, and in the end there will be a glorious reuniting with your loved ones. Trust and offer your sorrows to me, and I will bring great joy at the appointed hour.